Okay, let's now install a water block on this EVGA motherboard. As we tested it with the standard cooling to make sure it works, um, the first step would be removal of this uh, stock uh, cooler that already installed here. So what we'll do, I'll, I'll disconnect the fan cable and, um, and remove it this cooler by turning all those four posts as shown in the arrows like this and I pull post up okay now it's released all you need to do to wiggle it a little bit and um, basically remove heat sink from the from the motherboard okay all right so we're all done at this stage so next step is to clean CPU and install mounting for the block and I'm ready when I'm ready I will be back and continue my video after some consideration I decided to go with the cast supreme LT block the reason for that is as we're building low cost uh, solution we really need to go after the best price performance and it's hard to beat a K Supreme LT block because uh, it's uh, rather inexpensive and it works really well it's a low restriction block uh, which consistently shows very good temperatures and tests so um, it's not universal block as you can see it's only fits uh, with uh, LJ1366 or LJ755 type of the socket but it doesn't matter for us we we have a i7 CPU board and uh, that's exactly what we need another item I would strongly recommend to use at your bills is a backplate it's totally worth its money because it prevents you from building excessive tension in the mounting points so when you put screws through those four holes and start screwing block pressing it towards CPU you'll have a lot of pressure in those areas and your motherboard will start warping so when you put back plate you will redistribute pressure around the bigger area and uh, so that will prevent, prevent you from uh, damaging potential damaging of your motherboard so that's uh, definitely something that uh, I would recommend you to do and I always use it with my build. Okay, let's start our installation process first we'll mount this back plate on the motherboard and for that I will need uh, those four spacers here and uh, my screws so First step, we're going to put screws through this back plate like this, and we put spacers here, here, and there. Okay. Now we need to put it through the motherboard. It uh, could be a little bit tricky because we uh, need to line this stuff through. Here you go. Lost one spacer already. Okay. Just dropped it. So, third guys, we'll have to switch it off and start again. Okay, attempt number two, turning board around, and, <laughs> okay, okay attempt number three, try to sort it out this time, so holding top screws while connecting bottom ones, okay, Not that easy, right? Here you go. So all for there. 
we have a display to redistribute our pressure around. So now I'm turning board other side and my screws here, all four. And what I need to do is just to put those washers first those paper ones second metal metal and finally put screws on top and get those mounting screws fixed to the motherboard okay it's important to put like enough tension on, on, on this nut to make sure that this screw is um, attached to the board quite tight why because when you put your CPU block here and start putting springs and nuts with fixation you don't want screw to keep turning with you while you put tension on the on with the top nut right so make sure that um, you tied up all four screws hard enough and this will help you further down the road 